Hello friends, my name's Real Emil, and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 2. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 39, and today we are going to be tackling the Capsino Cup for Suzuki in the One Make Races. For that, we need a Capsino, and for that, well, there's one here. Um, this is the only one available, however, it comes in a decent colour, I guess, and it's got gold wheels, so, hey, kind of like a Subaru, I guess. Anyways... Let's go ahead and buy us that, and we will head to the upgrade shop, and I will quickly upgrade this thing. Okay, so that is the Capsino fully upgraded. Now, I can't be too sure, but this may have exactly the same engine as the Alto works, because, well, it's got exactly the same amount of power as there was in the Alto works. Anyways, let's head over and do the normal style race first. Okay, we are in Grindelwald for the first race with the Suzuki Capsino, and there is, well, two different colours available for this vehicle, apparently. You either have it in that red or this turquoise. Uh, apparently this is the turquoise anyway. Um, it is kind of like a very, very dark blue, kind of, I don't know. Ooh, we're going in reverse. I think this is the first time I've ever actually done Grindelwald. Um, in reverse, so bear with me on this, although by the looks of it, this car is extremely nice to drive, a little bit wayward. Um, it is rear wheel drive, in case you was wondering, unlike the, um, unlike the Auto Works, which was four wheel drive, this has the same uh, power and is rear wheel drive. However, I would assume this is a little bit on the lighter side uh, than the Auto Works, but I can't be too sure of that. Anyways, uh, interesting story. I actually saw one of these in England uh, the other day. Um, I was actually uh, pulling out of a petrol station, I think, and um, yeah, I saw a, a Capsino in England. It was a white one. I think it had been like lightly modified. Um, nothing. It didn't have like a big wing on it or anything, but uh, I believe it may have had like a little roll cage and some black wheels on it and stuff. It looks pretty cool, actually. Um, I've never really been the biggest fan of uh, this particular vehicle. It's a little bit, it's just too small, and it's a little bit, well, it's just a small little roadster, and I'm not usually a huge fan of those. Sure, don't get me wrong, I like Toyota MR2s, I like me loads of Slan, uh, the 90s loads of Slan, but, um, you know, stuff like this, the Daihatsu Copon, um... I think they're a bit silly, which means I guess I like them in that sense, but I would never even consider owning uh, one of these vehicles, but i got to say it looks pretty good. It looks different to everything else, and I indeed can confirm these vehicles are very, very small. I can't imagine they're that much bigger than a uh, Austin Healey Sprite, um, which is a fantastic vehicle. I wish that would return uh, to Forza. Uh, Forza car pack came out yesterday, of course. A pretty good one, actually. A really good car pack, um, which I'm super happy about. No race cars in it, which is good for me. Of course, I'm assuming that'll make me unpopular with people. Um, although, to be fair, the videos doing reasonably well. All the DLC videos do really well, and I mean, that's just the nature of them, I guess. Because uh, I'm usually the first person to um, upload a video about the actual DLCs themselves. There we go, round there, slide it out a bit, there we go. <laughs> it's quite a lively little car, this. I do like it. I do like it an awful, awful lot. It's a lot of fun to drive. Probably one of the more fun vehicles I've ever uh, driven so far. So far, the East City is uh, treating me pretty well when it comes to the handling of these vehicles. The Auto Works was pretty fantastic to drive. And this is uh, a hell of a lot of fun to drive, which is... Um, a win-win of sorts, I guess. Either way, we're about to complete this lap. Well, not actually that slow, to be honest with you. I mean, 136, especially considering we're going in reverse. I mean, I can't remember what I'd do in a normal vehicle. I think it's like a 113, like an RX-7 or something. So, that isn't too bad. Either way, friends, it's now time to racing modify our little cappuccino after taking 3,000 credits. Wow. So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in a second for racing modifications. Okay, let's go ahead and racing modify our little cappuccino. Is it a cappuccino? Cappuccino? I don't know. Is it a cappuccino? Hardy da da da. That's the title. Anyways, 
Racing car modifications. What have we got? Oh, it's okay. Um, not the most interesting thing in the world. I guess we'll go for that one. Um, yeah, not the most interesting thing, but it looks kind of cool as a race car. Uh, fun fact, this car later actually became a racing modifiable vehicle in Gran Turismo 5, and it also looks pretty good on there. Anyway, it's time to do the racing style race. Okay, for our second race in the Suzuki Capsino, we are going to Rome Night. Um, okay, fair enough. Uh, we haven't seen Rome Night since the uh, first race with the Neons, I believe. Anyways, to be honest with you, these cars actually do look really cool at night on this track. Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh god, there we go, go into there. See, it gets turned in so well. Admittedly, I took the a absolutely rubbish line through that corner. I really should be watching the AI uh, take lines through these corners. Although, in my defense, this track does not show up at all on the uh, main roster. It only shows up in these uh, one-make races. I kind of wish Autumn Ring Mini uh, showed up. Yeah, it is Autumn Ring Mini, in it? Um, I wish that showed up on these events as well, instead of just being confined to the arcade mode. Which, uh, I played the arcade mode the other day of this game. Super fun, so... Uh, yeah, I think it's probably going to be after this LP is finished, like after we've 100%ed the career mode, I may go ahead and play through the arcade mode as well, because it's a big amount of fun, and then after that we'll decide what we're doing. But yeah, we're quite far away from that yet, of course, this is only episode 39, and uh, at least by my calculations, we are looking at approximately 90-ish um, episodes of uh, Gran Turismo 2, so there is still a plenty to go, uh, mostly one mate races, not gonna lie, um, but there's also some other stuff, we've got endurance racing, which I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna even remotely commentate over that one. Uh, to be honest with you, for the, um, for the endurance races, I'm somewhat tempted to just, like, get a few friends in an Xbox Live party and place my uh, headset on the microphone and then just record something with them lot because, yeah, I don't, f uh, I do a pretty, I think at least, I do a pretty okay job of just being able to uh, chat and uh, play the games at the same time. Um, you know, out of most of the racing game uh, Let's Play things I've seen, I'm probably one of the more active people when it comes to just speaking. Um, but uh, I don't think I can do that for two hours of Rome. So, yeah, endurance racing, we may go ahead and uh, just get some uh, guys in a party and uh, see what we can do there. Hopefully that would be okay with you guys. Um, you know, um, I've spoken before, I kind of, you know, want to start doing a couple of uh, co-op things. If you look at my Let's Play list, uh, Halo's on there, and so Saints Row actually. I would kind of like to do those um, with a, friend, a couple of friends and see what we can uh, get going there. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, this channel isn't going to be restricted to the just driving games. One thing I'm definitely going to make sure though is if I do do a Let's Play on like Saints Row or Halo or Grand Theft Auto or something like that, I will definitely make sure there is also a racing game LP at the same time. So essentially, you know, you guys who are racing game fans can go and watch that, and anyone who wants to watch, you know, the Grand Theft Autos or the Saints Rows or whatever, you know, you can go ahead and watch that. To be fair, the minivan apparently is uh, going to be a low rider shortly in GTA Online. I'll probably make a video about that because I love the uh, minivan. It's one of my favourite cars in that game just because it's a bit slow and ridiculous, and now you can turn it into a low rider. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, just waiting on that. Not really interested in the tornado that came out a couple of days ago. To give you an idea of when I'm recording this, I believe it is April 4th? April 6th, sorry. Yeah, uh, so that's when I'm recording this. Anyways, we won that race, you know, relatively easily. Still trying to get used to Rome Night, of course, but um, eventually we'll get there. Anyways, I win 5,000 credits, and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, as you can see, and that is the Capsino Cup completed, and that is actually both of the one mate races for both the Autoworks and the Cappuccino completed, which means we are done 
with Suzuki. It apparently is concentrating its efforts on making interesting and fun automobiles. Yeah. Anyways, um, in the next episode, we're going to be heading over to Honda and starting all of their one-make races. And uh, in case you're wondering, there's a lot. So anyways, join me for that, friends. Thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.